Okay, hello there ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? It's Alexander Hilly 123 here and Technical problems are happening. <laughs> you won't be surprised to hear. And apparently this is unskippable. I mean it looks pretty cool, but this is unskippable. Oh, you can skip it, it just doesn't make it obvious how. As you can see, I'm playing today on Sonic Origins. You can see by the title though, and the screen in front of you, no, we're playing Sonic CD off Sonic Origins on an Xbox Series X. That's how we're playing today, ladies and gentlemen. And all together, I have to say, I don't think that Sonic CD is anywhere near as bad as Sonic Origins is anywhere near as bad as people have said it is. Um, I've encountered one or two little issues, but speaking as someone who knows the classic games very well, they're absolutely fine. I think overall, there's some decent add-ons here. The mission modes are really cool and fun. The museum's interesting. Getting achievements playing the old Sonic games have been fun. Mirror mode's cool. Boss rush is cool. And playing all the games together in the story mode as one whole collective experience is cool as well. But as you can see there, that is inspired by Sonic Spinball. You know, having Sonic Spinball and 3D Blast and Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine within this would have been really cool. It's a shame that it couldn't have been included. This has been overpriced, there's no doubt about that, but you know, I got it because I'm a bit of a Sonic fanboy, obviously, in the old games, and I didn't mind getting mugged off. Now, you can play Classic Mode, you can play Anniversary Mode. The difference being Classic Mode is just in its original form on a 4-3 screen. Anniversary Mode is 16-9 screen, widescreen, and you get unlimited lives. The absolutely insane thing about this is you can't play classic mode with the old resolution and have unlimited lives and you can't have limited lives in anniversary mode. I don't know why they couldn't just let you choose between and do what you wanted. Not quite sure what that's all about. A bit retarded to be honest. But I have to say straight off the bat ladies and gentlemen, Sonic CD, my least favourite of all these classic games. I've already done 1, 2, 3 and Knuckles on the channel obviously. One day I might bring 3D Blast to the channel, oh yes. But Sonic CD, I do not give a flying fuck, quite simply, <laughs> quite, frank, quite frankly, about the aspect of the good future, bad future. We're going to be getting bad future because I hate that aspect of this game. I don't want to be slowed down by going to the past, going to the future. I don't like the mechanic of the stars being around you. You've got to stay inter interrupted and run for about five seconds, but you always get interrupted. Getting the emeralds in this game is frustrating. The level design is nowhere near as good as the old games. It's still classic Sonic. You know, I'm a classic Sonic fanboy. I'm a classic Resident Evil fanboy, and obviously two totally different kind of genres there. But Sonic CD is basically um, Resident Evil Code Veronica. It's still a classic game. It's just not on the same level as the others. But you know, there's some people who love this game, but I certainly don't. Anyway, we are going to play Anniversary Mode because I want the widescreen, so yeah, I've got unlimited lives, but we've got a grin and burr it, whatever. This is very casual, it's a fun playthrough, there's eight levels, one video for every level, I think they're called levels now, or not zones or acts, I can't bloody remember what we call them, but I'll tell you something about this game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, apparently you can't play as Sonic and Tails together, just Sonic or Tails. Uh, this will clear your uh, current game, that's absolutely fine. I am roasting, ladies and gentlemen. It's above, and this. No, that's not what I wanted to happen. I want a new game. This game, one of the best things about it, without a shadow of a doubt, is its music. Now, there are two soundtracks for this game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, little FMV here. And I guess I'll let it play out. Both soundtracks are amazing. You've got a Japanese and European soundtrack, and then you've got an American soundtrack. Well. Sonic 
Okay. Oh, look at that. You don't go into the menu from here. You just play the game. Now, oh, she attacking mushrooms. I... I'm just going to go back to the title screen. We will do that again, but I just need to skip the FMV, obviously. Ah, uh, look, settings. Soundtrack. So, what soundtrack am I on? Because when I did this, yeah, I want to play the Japanese one. I slightly prefer the Japanese soundtrack. It's a little bit more classic Sonic. Having said that, both soundtracks for this game are sick. Really good. Really good fun. But last time... Oh, listen to that. That's different. Yay. Yay! Now the game, this level design, man, it's... I don't know what drugs they were smoking at Sega back in 92, because this game's level design after this first level, Palm Tree Panic, I think it's called, is convoluted, there's too much on the screen, and there's too much going on. I think this game was actually released... Uh, on the Sega CD, obviously, needless to say. Before Sonic 2 was actually released, and that kind of made, it's hard to believe for me. I would have thought this was actually Sonic 2, but I don't think it was. But yes, I do apologise for anyone that's triggered by this, but I just do not care about the aspects of bad future, good future, present, past. I, I hate it. I really hate that mechanic. I don't want to be going back and forth and... But look, here. Look past so if i keep up now oh look it doesn't work because i've got the, because of the goal happens all the time on this freaking game although i slightly prefer the japanese soundtrack like i said the u.s one's really good but the, the music that plays when you complete a level on the u.s version is absolutely fantastic past Oh, are we gonna? Oh, we're going to the past. And the way this works is there is a robotic machine somewhere within this level. Now, the level design is absolutely ridiculous, and it gets worse as the game goes on. And you've got to find this robotic machine and destroy it, and then I think you've got to go back to the past to go to the future. And I can't remember if you've got to do something else. As you can probably tell, I'm no expert at this game. I'm a lot better at Sonic 1, 2, 3 and Knuckles. But I do like this game. I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. There's just a lot of Sonic hype going on at the moment, you know, within the franchise. But it's quite interesting because... Oh, there you go. That hologram of Metal Sonic, is it called? What's it called? Dickhead Sonic, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> there's also another machine, I think, though. So you've got to destroy two separate things. What the hell? It's just a lot of faffing about, and I can't be bothered. Big rings! Oh, yeah, getting emeralds in this game. Sucks. A bit of little, 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 little. These 3D stages are not good. But, yeah, there's a lot of hype about the franchise at the moment as a whole. But that's mainly due to the movies. Apparently there's going to be a third movie. I don't care about the movies because... I don't like this modern aspect of doing game movie tie-ins or vice versa. I want them to be separate worlds. I don't like TV. I don't like movies. I don't like series. It's not something I'm interested in. Listen to this music. And if you're thinking this looks awkward, yeah, it is. The controls are awful. And uh, it's not easy to control. It's not easy to play. Now, the last time I played this, I ended up getting three emeralds. I think there's maybe six or seven altogether. But I'm shitting the bed on this first one here. Not good. Oh, I don't miss that one. Yeah, enough said about that. As you can see here, you can spend one coin, and I've got 365 to do them all again. It's pretty cool, but, mate, I would go through all 365 coins before getting all the emeralds on this game, and indeed, Sonic 2. Because they're so freaking hard. But like I was... Listen to this music. This is sick. Some of the evil, bad future music on this game is the best. I'm not even hitting the invincibility box. 
Listen, this. I'm not even going to speak. This was made in 92, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, some of these levels are pretty damn sharp, man. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I'm right in saying this. Maybe some Sonic CD fanboys can tell us in the comment section, but... Okay, Robotnik. I don't know if the bosses are different based on if you're in the past or the future in this game. Can't remember if that's a thing. That's some cool industrial rock shit, man. Sowing the seeds of love. There we have it. We're done with the first zone. Can't even remember what it was called. Palm Tree Panic, even though there's no palm trees in sight, because this game... Sega on drugs. See you for the next video, which is... Collision Chaos. Listen to this soundtrack. It's so damn 90s.